On Shingle Street, the summer's sweet, the stones are flat, the pebbles neat, and there's less rip when tides are neap. It's fine to swim, or fine to try, but when the sea runs fast and high, and skies turn black and cormorants weep, best watch your step on Shingle Street. On Shingle Street, as sunset seeps across the marsh, the flocks of kale are grazing sheep. A soft pink light sneaks up the beach, as if each stone were ringed with fire, as if each pebble stored the heat of past disasters, past defeats. From Shingle Street to Orford Ness, the waves maraud, the winds oppress, the earth can't help but acquiesce, for this is east, and east means loss, a lessening shore, receding ground, three feet gone last year, four feet this, where land runs out and nothing sound, nothing lasts long on Shingle Street. For Shingle Street's a sinking street, the worn out coasts in slow retreat, with lopped off bluffs and crumbling cliffs, and empty air where churches stood, and houses perched, and fields and woods, and no known means to stop the rot. A breaker's yard of rusted hulls, where comas come, and herring gulls. A holding bay for washed up trash, a rest home for the obsolete, a hole, a heap, a wreck, a rack, a nomad's land. That's Shingle Street. On Shingle Street, the sea repeats its tired old tricks, its one-man show. The drum-rolled waves along the strand, the bass-line thud and cymbal clash, as stones are stoned and pebbles dashed. Again, 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 the waves collapse, the flints resound, the tide runs in and takes the ground, the tide runs out, the ground slips back. Variety is not the name, but that's the point. The sea's the same, unchanging grey, the one sure thing. A flooded plain in plain disguise, a level field that hides its rise through constant ebb and constant flow. Unlike the earth, which shifts and shrinks, unlike ourselves, who have to go.